नमस्ते हमेशा से सब उठिए आई के बीन कॉरपोरेट फ्रॉम सेक्रेटरी ऑफ इन सर्कल एंड डायग्नोस्टिक इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डायग्नोस्टिक एंड कम्युनिटी हेल्थ इन द डिसिप्लिन रेडियोलॉजी फ्रॉम द एपी डेवलपमेंट वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग द सेशन दिस इज इंपोर्टेंट और यूजफुल सेशन फॉर application of uh, radiation uh, radiation imaging technique or radiographic technique and general radiation physics so today session will be helpful for the student to uh, to know or understand the uh, the general radiation physics or uh, production of x rays or uh, in terms of pa particles or rays or the positioning of patient okay namaste uh, in today's session we will discuss about the grid control x ray tube in general radiation physics for bsc rt second sem student so what is grid control x-ray tube x-ray tubes usually contain two electrodes the switches used to on or off exposure must be able to withstand large changes in applied voltage a grid control x-ray tube contain its own switch which allow the x-ray tube to be made on or off rapidly so grid control x-ray tube contains the switches that is used to off or on the x-ray tube rapidly a grid control x-ray tube contains three electrodes the anode and cathode forms two electrode and the third electrode controls the flow of electron from the filament to target usually the focusing cup acts as a third electrode so the grid control x-ray tube contains the three electrodes anode and cathode uh, uh, that uh, these are forms two electrodes and the third electrode control the flow of electrons from the filament from the cathode filament to the target anode usually the focusing cup acts as a third electrode called grid the grid is electrically negative relative to the filament the voltage across the filament grid produce an electrical field along the path of electron beam means grid is electrically negative relative to filament Okay, जैसे फिलामेंट है फिलामेंट नेगेटिव है ऐसे ये बन के सकते हैं तो ये जो ग्रिड होती है वो भी नेगेटिव है द वोल्टेज एक्सक्रॉस द फिलामेंट ग्रिड प्रोड्यूस एन इलेक्ट्रिकल फील्ड अलॉन्ग द पार्ट ऑफ दी इलेक्ट्रॉन इलेक्ट्रॉन बी ओके इट प्रोड्यूस द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड और द पोशेज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड दैट पोशेज द इलेक्ट्रॉन ई वन क्लोज टूगेदर क्लोजर टूगेदर ओके दैट पोशेज द इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लोजर To one another or together. If the voltage is needed large enough, the tube current may be completely pinched off, and no electron go from the filament to the target. Means uh, uh, here we talking about the uh, uh, saturation potential. So if the voltage is needed large enough, the tube current may be completely pinched off. Means tube current is maximum, and no electron go. From the filament to target above the saturation potential, there is no electron that go from the filament to target. The voltage applied between the focusing cup and the filament are close together. Between the focusing cup and filament are close together means the value of the voltage is close of the filament and the focusing cup. The voltage necessary to cut off the tube current is not a very large. the voltage that is used to cut off the current is not a very large 
expansion. Okay, so in this uh, view, in this uh, in this session, we have discussed about the grid control amplitude. Grid grid is the third electrode that is used as a focusing cup, or it produces the electric field, electric field, or it is a negative negative related to the filament. Okay. Thank you. This session is over. Namaste. In today's session, we will discuss about the speed of the anode rotation. In rotating anode activity. That is a part or session of general rotation brake packing for GCRT second time students. So the speed of the anode rotation. Let's discuss. The anode is made in the form of large disk of tungsten. Okay, anode is made of the uh, uh, form of large disk of uh, tungsten or an alloy of tungsten. Okay, which uh, rotates at a speed of about three thousand revolutions per minute. Okay, this will facilitate the electron to bombard at constantly changing area of the target. Means if there is no rotation, the area where the electrons bombard is fixed or same. But when it is rotating 3,000 revolution per minute, then it is constantly changing the area of the target where the electron bombard. So the tungsten disk has a bevelled edge. Bevelled edge. The angle of bevel may vary from the 6 to 20 degrees. The bevel is used to achieve the line focus principle. Line focus principle. Bevel is so the bevel only. The disc is mounted on its stem and the stem is attached with a copper cylinder called a rotor. So disc is mounted on a stem. This Anode disc or uh, anode assembly, uh, anode target is mounted on a uh, on a stem, stem, and the stem is attached to the copper cylindric uh, cylinder called the rotor that rotates motor, that rotates, that rotates by motor. The anode assembly rotates with the help of bearing. Anode assembly rotates with the rotated with the help of bearing. The stem is made of molybdenum, which is having high melting point. So, uh, melting point of the molybdenum is high, and poor heat conduction or conduction of the heat is poor in case of molybdenum. The molybdenum stem prevents the flow of heat. Molybdenum stem prevents the flow of heat from the tungsten to the bearing of anode. So the molybdenum stem prevents the flow of heat from the tungsten to the bearing of the anode assembly. So it uh, prevents the heat uh, uh, heat uh, uh, heat flow backward from the tungsten target to target to tungsten disc to bearing. Okay. So this has been over. I think you all uh, you all will get a good knowledge or a knowledge about the rotating anode activity or the speed of the anode rotation. Thank you. Namaste. Uh, in today's session, we will discuss about the cathode assembly. Cathode assembly in the, uh, that is in uh, uh, that is a uh, important component in the x-ray tube. That is a session of general radiation physics packing for PCRT citizen students. Cathode assembly. So let me discuss about the cathode assembly. Rotating anode tube. Rotating anode tube consists of a cathode and anode which are kept in a glass bulb or glass envelope. Okay. 
so uh, the rotating anode is to heavy so different charged different potential uh, electrode is called cathode and anode or that is kept in a glass bulb or annular the cathode is a tungsten filament which is offset from the long axis of the axis tube is to face the target near the periphery of the anode disc to face the target near the periphery of the anode disc is the target usually rotating anode tubes are fitted with two filaments one is larger than the other placed side by side in the cathode assembly one filament is designed to focus the electrons on a larger area of anode okay so one filament is designed to focus the electrons in a large area of the anode which requires heavy tube loading so it requires heavy tube loading the other filament is used to focus the electrons on a smaller area of target this type is used when high resolution is required it is for resolution the, uh, the first one is four four line focus principle second one is the four resolution uh, for getting high resolution and minimum this type is used when high resolution is required both filament should focus the electron on the same part of the anode so the focal spot is at the same point for both the modes of operation both the modes of operation some tubes provide two target angles or two filament so that each filament will have a separate focal spot smaller angle is used to train the smaller focal spot okay so uh, then uh, simply cathode is a negative charge electrode or uh, negative potential right? a negative electrode that is in negative potential it has a filament that is in the form of wire or spiral okay in rotating or stationary and on electric to focus the filament is made up of tungsten material it works on the thermionic emission principle when high voltage is applied by the source electrical electrical electricity source high voltage is applied on the filament the filament emits electron that having a high kinetic energy and after that the electron strike to the target target and the flow of electron from the cathode to anode is is controlled by focusing cup focusing cup focuses the electron from the cathode to anode this is a negative potential electron anode is a anode or target is a positive potential electron okay so cathode assembly having the filament it has a focusing cup that is uh, that is uh, both the filament and focusing cup is at same potential in some cases Uh, same potential in most cases. Okay, so thank you. The session is over. I think it will help to understand. I will. Uh, uh, I think you will get a good knowledge after after watching the video. Okay, thank you. thank you the session is over i think you are satisfied with this session if you have any query then put it into the comment box i will uh, resolve it later thank you this session is over the session is powered by digital version 2.0 jyoti vidyapeeth university jaipur